Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to sketch this tufted duck in ink, although you don't see the little crest that it has. And from time to time I like to change my tools and my methods a little bit and I thought it might be fun to experiment with drawing um, a bird or several birds uh, with this waterproof ink. And so this is what I'll do today. And I hope you'll enjoy the video. So I've already done a rough sketch with colored pencil and I'm going over it with regular pencil. And this doesn't have to be a particularly uh, nice sketch with nice lines because I'll go over it again with my fountain pen, with my ink lines. So uh, what I want to make sure is that I see all of the small lines and that I have an idea of what the outlines um, look like. So I just want to make sure that I can see all of the lines on my light pad. And I'm switching to that now. As you can see, I have placed a, a nicer, thicker um, drawing paper over my sketch and now I'm redrawing the lines with my fountain pen. So and uh, let's talk about the ink that I'm using here. So this is fountain pen ink. It's by Aurora and Klingner, which is a German brand. And uh, it's called Sketch Ink. I really like this. It comes in a few different uh, colors. This is Amber, I believe. And so I've used this ink with my fountain pens for a while. It doesn't clog the fountain pen, which is really nice uh, due to some, I don't know, nanotechnology. And, and for this sketch, I wanted to try out how the ink will hold up when you use it with a pen. So this is what I'll do in a minute. When I finish the line work, um, you've seen it in the beginning, this is going to be a sort of a tonal drawing. So I'm adding a few details here and there, just indicating not too much. I can leave most of the work to my brush. You can see I've switched to my brush now and I'm starting with some of the mid-tones on the feathers. I don't have a particular order here. I figured I'd start at the top of the bird and then work my way through all of the feather groups. I'm trying to keep true to the uh, edges that the feather groups um, make here naturally um, because that will make it easier to hide uh, edges in the brush strokes. So when this ink dries on the drawing paper that I use, I use very smooth drawing paper, then uh, you will see edges. So you You'll, if you paint larger areas like uh, the head and the chest area of the bird here, you have to keep the ink uh, flowing and smooth so you can also get a smooth area. And you will see this in the area that I'm covering now. Uh, you can always cover up what you've already painted with this sort of, uh, with a darker layer on top of it, but you really have to make sure that you don't get these um, edges or uh, blooming areas works a little bit like watercolor in that respect. It only dries much quicker due to the paper and due to the ink, I suppose. So the nice thing about this ink is that you can work in layers because it's waterproof. So you don't disturb the layers that you've already painted when they're dry. So this is a familiar way of working for me coming from watercolors. And so I really enjoy this aspect. And you can see you can get quite a broad range of uh, tonal values. And what I've done to make this easier uh, while I'm painting is I've placed a small amount of undiluted ink on a porcelain palette uh, next to my drawing area and I've uh, added different amounts of water. And so I have these puddles of very dark ink and then I also have an area where the, the ink is very diluted and will give these uh, very light tonal values in the sketch. And this method works quite well. Um, the only thing that I find is once the ink has dried on the palette, then it's a bit harder to reactivate again. It is possible. So um, because this is a porcelain palette, the ink will um, be fluid again if you add water, but there will be these little particles. Uh, you have to mix them in quite uh, thoroughly before you can apply them to paper. But usually this works. And so here you can see you can get quite uh, the dark application of, of ink if you add several layers. 
and it will give you this rich dark tone uh, that I really like. I also particularly like this color of the ink, uh, amber. So far I've only tested three of the colors that these inks come in. I think they have 12 colors or so and I have a blue black that I find very nice and then um, more of a dark gray or a sepia tone. So I restate the creases and uh, the edges and where the feathers overlap uh, on the wings here. And this is all, you can do this very gradually or with a really bold statement. This is both possible with this type of technique. And here I tried out if I can get a, a gradient wash, but it's not really for this small area, it's not really possible. And I'm adding a few shadows on the white belly so that we have an indication of where the light source is. And this is basically it. So this ink study was a lot of fun, I have to say. I hope you enjoyed it too. Yeah, let me know if you have painted with waterproof ink before. So that's it for this video. As always, feel free to comment, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye!